Hey guys, so this week I have a nice short foam roller routine for you guys to try out. So if you haven't heard, I've been hosting this Summer of Splits Challenge, helping people to get down in their splits, me included. And I really think that foam rolling is a huge component of flexibility. So I can make a whole other video where I talk all about foam rolling, what it is, and what the benefits are. If you're interested in that, let me know in the comments and I will. But for now, let's just get right into it. It's really important when you're foam rolling not to be rolling on a joint or a bone, but always to be staying in that soft tissue and in that muscle. Today we're going to focus on rolling out some of the bigger muscle groups that I think will really affect that flexibility that relates to your splits. So when I first started foam rolling, it was all the rage to roll out your IT band. But now we know that that's actually not a good way to do it. The IT band isn't a muscle, so you're not going to release it. You don't want to roll it out because that can lead to inflammation. So we really want to just focus on the muscle groups around the IT band. So I'm going to start by coming into a little bit of a lunge here. And I'm going to put the foam roller right above my knee. And then I'm going to roll up to the top of my hip. So I'm going to place the foam roller right above my knee there. And then facing forward as if I'm in a lunge, I'm just going to start to walk it back and roll that muscle out. Nice and slow. You don't ever want to go too fast or vigorous when you're foam rolling. A nice, gentle, slow approach is all that's needed. You're just giving your muscles a little massage. So I'm just going to go back and forth here. And I can rotate so I'm a little bit more inside on that muscle or I can rotate so I'm a little bit more outside on that muscle. Just move around, feel where your body needs it most. Now, there's no perfect number when it comes to how many times you roll a muscle, but I always work for about eight or 10. All right, then we're gonna switch legs. So I'm gonna go back into my lunge position with my right leg forward. I'm gonna place my foam roller so it's right above my knee. And I'm just gonna roll back. to relax after all that hard work that you did and it helps to get the blood flowing and bring fluid back into your fascia. So if you find a particularly tight spot, you can kind of just stay right there and just make little movements back and forth. 
I wouldn't rest on any one spot for too long. I would just stay in one spot for about like 20 or 30 seconds, just with the little movements. Right here on the inside is really tight. And you can also move the leg in and out to get to the muscles. to the other side. So again, starting right with my knee, and I'm just gonna roll out here. I think that um, your inside thighs tend to get really tight, and it's a place that's overlooked a lot when we're stretching. And they're very closely connected to your hips and your lower back, so it's important to stretch and roll these muscles out. crossing my left ankle over my knee and I'm just going to kind of tilt to the side so I'm really on my right side here and I'm going to roll back and forth here. Now foam rolling is a great way to um, help your muscles recover and just to kind of massage them after a long day's work. But it's also really great for prepping your muscles for exercise. So foam rolling is a great thing to do before ballet class, just to help you warm up and to get that blood flowing and that fascia lubricated like we talked about. going to come up onto my knees and slide the foam roller right under the back of my knees. And I'm going to hold it in place so it doesn't slip away and just gently sit back. Ooh. Yeah, I feel that one for sure. And then you just kind of let it slip and roll down, getting all of your calves as well as the back of your thighs.
gentle pressure. You don't ever want to force or jam the muscles too hard. Um, if you go too hard and over massaging your muscles, you're going to actually cause more harm than good and they'll probably start contracting more and might get more inflamed and sore. So just be really nice and gentle. It should feel, you know, it's not like super comfortable, but it feels good to me. So if it's any excruciating pain, don't do it. to roll out your calves is to just sit on your bottom, put your legs on the foam roller, and just roll back and forth like this. It's a little bit more gentle. You can control the pressure a little bit better. Um, so if that last one was too intense, try this. All right, guys, that was that. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up so I know. And let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more foam rolling routines. Today was kind of just an introduction of few of the bigger muscle groups that I typically go to most often, but there are lots of things that I love to do with my foam roller. I'd love to hear from you guys. Let me know if you foam roll, what you think, what are your favorite muscles to foam roll, or do you like to use different massage tools? Let me know that in the comments below. I love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.